Hello, hello, good afternoon. Okay, welcome to your language class. Hello, Adrian, Christopher. Hello, hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Okay, Hola, good afternoon. Hello. Ah, okay, Miss, you're the third one. <laughs> yes, okay, sabe, tell me. You know the lunes la clase de lenguaje yo fui primero. Yes, that's good. Okay. Felicito, felicidades. <laughs> okay, you are punctual. I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Hola. Hello, good afternoon. Hello, Yo fui la primera en la de. Okay, good afternoon. Good. Okay. Llegó la hora. Es la pena Okay. So let's see. Good afternoon. Okay, I don't know. Okay, so let's see. Today we work on page 47 and 48. Yeah, but we have a lot of work today, so we we'll start right now. Yeah, okay. Tenemos mucho trabajo ahorita. Ok, vamos a trabajar bastante, así que lo vamos a eh, comenzar desde ya. Yes? Ok, so let's see. Ok, tell me. Uh, a las 12 y 5 me tengo que salir de la clase porque voy a ir a revisar, porque voy a ir a que me cambien los lentes. Ah, ok, so you have a date, ok, with that. Ok, that's good, Abram. Thank you for telling me. Ok, está bien, no se preocupe. Ok, excellent. So let's see, let's start. Page 47, yes? Ok, so we start right now. So let me share with you my screen. Ok, and this is that. Ok, remember A. Use pro readers marks to mark letters that should be capitalized. Ok, and to insert punctuation. So in that case, we use the proofreader marks, okay? So you know what is the proofreader marks about capitalization, about punctuation, etc. yeah? Okay, and we insert the correct punctuation to every sentence. So that's mean we identify if this one is declarative, interrogative, etc. yes? Okay, excellent. So let's start. Mom, do you think Mr. and Mrs. Woods will come to our home for Thanksgiving this year? Okay, so this one is a question. That's mean is an interrogative sentence. So we write here a question mark. Yes, okay. And you know the capitalization rules. Okay, yesterday we studied this one. So remember, we capitalize the first letter or the first word in a sentence. Yes, so we write here. Then we capitalize the title of respect. For that reason, we have a mister. So we write with capital letter mister. And remember, at the end of the initials, we write period. Then we have Mrs. So we capitalize Mrs. because this one is a title of respect. And also we write period, okay? Okay, let's see, yes, at the end. We'll come to our home for Thanksgiving this year. Okay, you know that we capitalize Thanksgiving because this one is a holiday. And according to the rule says that all the holidays you write with capital letter, yes? Okay, excellent. So we have the first one, yes? Okay, that's good. Number two, I invited them to come James. Okay, what are the words that we need to write with capital letter? Okay, raise your hand if you want to participate, yeah? Okay, if you have the answer, raise your hand. Okay, Aaron, tell me. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I. Okay, I, exactly. James. Okay, and James, yes, because this one is a proper name. That's good. And what kind of sentence is this one, Aaron? I'd invite them to come jump. Declarative, interrogative, exclamatory, or imperative? Declarative. Declarative, yes. So we write a period at the end of the sentence, yes? Okay, excellent, Aaron. Thank you very much. Okay, next one, number three. Okay, last Wednesday night, Mr. Woods told about being a missionary in Australia. Okay, what are the words that we need to capitalize in that case? Okay, Christopher.
Good afternoon. Okay, good afternoon. Um, L and um, um, no, I... Okay, the first letter is L in last, yeah? Because this one is the first word in a sentence, yes? Okay, excellent. Then, okay, Jimena, help me please. Thank you, Christopher. Okay, and Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. Okay, Wednesday. And, and Mister. And okay, Mister. And period. Okay, and period, exactly. And, um, Australia. Okay, Australia, because this one is a country, exactly. So, but it's missing this one, Woods. This one is a proper name. So this one is the name of the boy or the man. So we write with capital letter. And at the end, what kind of sentence is this one? Last Wednesday night, Mr. Woods told about being a missionary in Australia. So this one is declarative, yes? So we write a period. Okay, that's good. Next one, okay, Mateo Salmeron, number four. Do you enjoy your missionary stories, Laura? What is that? Okay, okay, try to activate right now. Hello. Hello, me. Hello. Okay, what is the first word that we capitalize? Do. Okay, do, yes. What else? Laura. Okay, and Laura, yes. Okay, this one is a proper name, exactly. And what kind of sentence is this one? Do you enjoy the missionary stories, Laura? In that case, this one is an interrogative sentence. So we write a question mark, yeah? Okay, excellent. Next one, number five. Mrs. Woods is visiting our class on Friday. Okay, so let me check. Who is the next one that participate? Okay, so let's see, let me check here. Daniela Navas. In, in, in. Okay, M in Mrs., yes. Woods. Okay, we write the period. Okay, what else? In Friday. Okay, Friday, yeah, because this one is the day of a week, so we write with capital letter. And also Woods, yes? Okay, because this one is the last name of that person. That's good. Okay, Danny, and what kind of sentence is this one? Mrs. Wood is visiting our class on Friday. In declarative? Declarative, yes. This one is a declarative sentence, so we write a period. Excellent, good. Number six, Pastor Smith encouraged us to remember to pray for our missionaries during November and December. Okay, what are the words that we capitalize in that case? Okay, let's see. Okay, help me. Remember, you are my teacher today. So you tell me what are the things that I work with capital letter? Okay. <laughs> okay, that's good. I help you, yeah? Okay, the first one is pastor. Yes, this one is a title of respect. So we write pastor. Okay, pastor is meat. This one is the last name of this person. So we work with capital letter. Encourage us to remember to pray for our missionaries during November. Okay, this one is another word because this one is, uh, let's see, the name of uh, month of the year. So we work with capital letter. And December, yes? Okay, and at the end, we write period because this one is a declarative sentence. Yes? Okay, thank you, Jimena. And the last one, number seven, Christmas and New Year's Day are winter holidays. Okay, what are the words that we capitalize in that case? Okay, let me see. Christmas, yes, excellent. So we write with capital letter, yes. Okay, what else? Okay, 
exactly. This one is a holiday. In, okay, let's see. Christmas and New Year's days are winter holidays. Okay, Ariana Wesson says New Year's Day. Yes, so we were here with capital letters. New, okay, Year's Day. Okay, excellent. So let's see, in that case, holidays, this word, we don't write with capital letter. Winter, we don't write with capital letter. Remember, the rule says that seasons, you don't write with capital letter. Dice que las estaciones del año no se escriben con mayúscula. Okay, en holidays, en sí la palabra holidays no se pone con mayúscula, solamente las festividades, pero que nosotros las mencionamos. Okay, la palabra festividad no, pero sí las que decimos Navidad, Año Nuevo. Okay, this one, yes. Okay, excellent. Okay, that's good. Okay, you did it. Yes. Okay, so we continue. Okay, I give you 30 seconds for completing this part and then we continue, yes? Okay, that's good. Okay, okay, you did it, excellent, you finished, that's good. Okay. Okay, so let's see, let's continue. Okay, so let's see, next part. This one is think B, okay? Write a plural form of each noun. Okay, so let's see. We, this one is a review of the topic of the plural nouns, okay? So now you write the plural form, then I check the answer. So this one is a review. Escribalo usted solo y luego vamos a chequear, yes? I give you one minute. So let's see, let's count in right now. Let's start right now. What is the plural of tooth? The plural of turkey. The plural of ditch. The plural of turtle. Wax. Fly. Sheep. And half. Yes? Okay. Excellent. So let's see, one minute. And then, okay, we check our answer. For that reason, you write with pencil, yes? Okay, because in that form you can erase if we make a mistake. Okay, excellent. So let's see. Okay, let's start. The plural of tooth. What is that? Okay, thank you, Hime. Yes, this one is the answer. Okay, Jimena says that the plural of tooth is, okay, teeth, exactly, teeth, okay, tooth, teeth. The plural of turkey, okay, turkeys, exactly, we only add S at the end, thank you, turkeys. Okay, the plural of ditch, ditch, what is that? Okay, yes, is this one? Ditches, okay, ditches, yes. The plural of total. Okay, this one is easy, yes, because we only have S at the end. Okay, totals, exactly, totals. Okay, the plural of wax. What is this one? Wax, okay, thank you, Alejandro. Waxes, yes, we only have ES, waxes. The plural of fly. <clears throat> okay, flies. Yes, remember, according to the rule, we change the letter Y into the vowel I and we add ES. Okay, sheep. What is the plural of sheep? This one is an irregular now. Okay, yes, exactly. It's the same. Yes, this one doesn't change. No cambia, es el mismo. Okay, half. What is the plural? Half. Okay, remember the rule. Exactly, halves. Okay, when a word ends in F, you cross out and you change but the consonant B, okay? And then you add ES. So we say halves, yes? 
Okay, excellent. Two teeth. Turkey, turkeys. Ditch, ditches. Turtle, turtles. Wax, waxes. Fly, flies. Sheep, sheep. In half, halves. Yes? Okay, excellent. So let's see. I give you some seconds, okay, for uh, checking the answer. Okay, you finished, you did it, excellent. <clears throat> okay, excellent. Okay, let me clear this part and we continue. Okay, now, exercise C. You write an exclamatory sentence using the title of your favorite book or song. Okay, think about that. What is your favorite book or what is your favorite song? So you write an exclamatory sentence, okay? So write your exclamatory sentence and then we shall develop us, yes? And in number two, you write an interrogative sentence using your teacher's name, okay? So you write an interrogative sentence, that means a question using my name, okay, Miss Amanda. <laughs> okay, so let's see, let's work, okay? And then you share your ideas. Okay, the first one is exclamatory, using your the title of your favorite book. Okay, for example, oh, my favorite book, um, let me see, is wet, yeah? Okay, oh my God, my Bible is wet because I, okay, spill the water on the table. Yes, this one is an exclamatory sentence. And then an interrogative sentence using your teacher name. Okay. Is Miss Amanda here? Okay. Okay. But remember, okay, using your the title of your favorite book. En la primera, una oración exclamativa usando el nombre del libro favorito suyo. Okay. So what is your favorite book? Language, spelling. Okay, the Bible. Uh, the Diary of... Let me see, Anna Frank, yes. So we have a lot of books. So you choose one, that is your favorite book. And when you finish, you tell me because you participate. Okay, Aaron, tell me, what are your sentences? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Wow, give my, huh, wow, this book is very funny. Okay. Oh, wow. This book is very funny. Yes. Okay. Excellent. Let's see now. Another. Okay. Jimena, you finish? No? Okay. So you give us your example. Yes. Who else? Okay. Let me check who finish. <clears throat> Okay, Alejandro, tell us your sentence. Good morning, Miss. Good afternoon. Ah, good afternoon. Okay. okay. Now, my book of Roblox has wet. Okay. Oh, my Roblox book is wet. Yes? Okay, Alison, your example. Okay, yes. Oh, my favorite song is in the radio. Okay, oh, my favorite song is in the radio. That's good, excellent. Let's see, Jimena, your turn. Okay, what is your sentence? <clears throat> good afternoon, me. Good afternoon, Jimena. Uh, the Bible is very interesting. <laughs> yes, okay, yeah, okay, you give the good intonation, exactly, okay, Paulette. Oh, songs of the Savannah Quintanilla. Oh, okay, that's good, yeah, this one is an exclamatory sentence, excellent, okay, that's good. 
Okay, what about interrogative sentence? Okay, so you give me exclamatory sentence, yes? Okay, what about interrogative sentence? Okay, we're an interrogative sentence using your teacher's name. Okay, what is your example in that case? Okay, so let's see. Let me check if we have one example. Okay, Aaron, you have one example? No? Okay. Okay, excellent, maybe. Okay, Miss Amanda, are you here? Miss Amanda, estás aquí? Yeah, so this one is an interrogative sentence. Yeah, for example, yesterday in our class, <gasps> Miss Amanda is not here, Miss Amanda is not here. Yeah, but then I entered to the class and yes, I'm there. Yeah, okay, that's good. Excellent. So let's see, now we pass to this one. Okay, and in that case, you need your colors. Yes, it is necessary. So please prepare your color pencil because we use in that case. Okay, let's see. Excellent. Thank you, Paulette. Yes. <laughs> Do you have a family, Miss Amanda? Yes, I have one. Okay, that's good. Let's see. To find the words to for remember B. Okay, this one. Let's check. Remember B is that part. Okay. So, okay, write the letters in each state of the map below. So, okay, for example, we have the first one. Did you see here? We have the first one that says doctor. Yeah. Okay, so we color for understanding that this one is the same word, yeah, doctor. So this one is the example that you have on your book. Yes, so you color in that case, I color with yellow. Yeah, but maybe you color with different, okay, with your favorite color, okay? But we color both with the same because in that form we remember that this one is the same word, okay, doctor. Let's see, what else? Then we have another one. Okay, for example, here, so we can write in that space. Okay, no, you don't use markers. You use only color pencils. No podemos usar plumones aquí, porque nuestras páginas de libros son muy delgadas. Entonces vamos a usar marcadores. Yes, eh, perdón, colores. Okay, so in that case, we write, except, this one is the first one. Okay, what is the next one? Except, then we have TM, TM, okay, and in that we write BER, September, yes, okay, and we form another word. So we color in a different way, yeah. Okay, for example, with this one, maybe I color with that in that case. For understanding, that is the same word, yeah? You color very good, yes, okay? Maybe you color completely, okay? But in my case, I can do it all, yeah? Okay, so let's see, and we have another word that in this case is September, okay? Excellent. So we have next one. Okay, for example, here I write, okay, let me check. Oak, yes, it's possible. Okay, oak, then in that part, oh, bear. And we have another word that is October, yes? October. <clears throat> okay. That's good. Excellent. Okay. Then we have here. Mon. What is the complement of this word? Mon. What is the second part? Alison, do you have the answer? Mon. Day. Okay, Monday, exactly. Monday. Yes, and we have another month of the year, Monday. Okay, so with color. Okay. 
Okay, Monday. Yes, so you choose the colors, okay? Monday. Okay. October, maybe you color, okay, with pink, yes? Okay, excellent. So let's see. Okay, I check in if you're working, yes? Estoy chequeando si está trabajando, okay? Okay, next one. <clears throat> we have here, deck. Okay, then we were here, amp. amp. Okay. Okay, let me erase this one because we don't have enough space for writing. Yes. Okay, here, amp. Yes, I think it's okay. December, yes, and we have another month. December, okay. Then we have here, Jan. Okay, Jan, war, e. okay. January, we have another month, yes. January. Okay. So this one we color different. Okay. And in that form, we understand what is the word. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Then we have another one. For example, this one, I color with blue, yes? And I doubt that it's the same word, January, okay? Okay, next one. So we have here, okay, rev, and the complement is, Reverend, yeah. Reverend, yeah. Okay. Let me check. I erase this one because it's missing one letter. Okay. Rev, Reverend. And we have the other one that says here, Miss, but only with one S, Miss. And in the next one, we write Ter, okay? Miss Ter, and we have another word, yeah? Miss Ter. Then we have in this one, okay, choose, yes, okay. Tuesday, Tuesday, okay? Change your color. Okay, remember you use different colors for every word, yeah? Okay, this one is Tuesday with color. Okay, then we have reverend with color. Yes. Okay, then you have, um, let me see, mister, we color this one. Okay. Okay, that's good. Excellent, I see Magali working, Christopher, Daniela Blandón, Julio, Alejandro Mendoza, okay, Alejandro Romero, Jimena, Alison, Aaron, Paulette, good job. Okay, let's continue. 
So let's see, next one. In that case, we have another month of the year. So in that part we have, okay, Mar. Okay, I have here March, and I write in that part, CH, okay, March. We have another month, March. And then we write here, okay, me, sis. Yes. Okay, me, sis. Okay, Mrs. Then we have another one that says Saturday. Okay, so here, Sat. Okay, or, and here, day, Saturday. Yeah, okay, Saturday. And we write here, Okay, sun day. Yes, Sunday. And this one is the last one. Okay, Sunday. Okay, so we color this one in an, with green. In that case, it's light green. Yeah, because this one is the same word, Sunday. <clears throat> okay, maybe we color this one with light blue, March. Okay, Aaron, tell me. Okay, tell us. No, okay. Luego vamos a hacer la parte de abajo. Yo sé que usted se tiene que retirar, okay? Entonces, pero lo de abajo solamente lo completamos con estas palabras, ¿ok? Ok, September, October, pero ya tenemos cuáles son, ¿sí? Así que solo lo completamos. Ok, puede retirar cero, no se preocupe. Ok, bye bye. Lo veo mañana, Aaron. A las 2.05. Ok, está bien. That's good. Ok, excelente. And the last one. Okay, Saturday, yes? Okay, when you finish, you tell me. Cuando ya hayamos terminado, usted me dice. Yeah? <clears throat> okay, remember, you color, okay, the syllables or the divisions with the same color. Yeah, because in that form, we understand that it's the same word. Okay? Okay, thank you, Jimena Vasquez, that's good. Okay, so let's see. And if you notice, we have different titles of respect. We have the days of the week, the month of the year, yes. We have doctor, Monday, October, December, Reverend, Tuesday, March, okay, September, January, Mr., Mrs., Saturday, Sunday, Yes, okay, this one are the words that we have. And when you finish this part, you complete remember B. Okay, finish writing the word for each abbreviation, okay? Sept, what is the abbreviation? What is the complete word? September, exactly. Feb, the complete word? February, me, MR, Mr. Oct, October, MRS, Mrs. Ref, Reverend, Mon, Monday, Sun, Sunday, Sat, Saturday, DR, Doctor, Jan, January, Mar, March, Tuesday, Tuesday, and Deck, December. Yes? Okay, so you write an asterisk to this page. Escribale un asterisco a esta parte, part B. Okay, this one, this one is an asterisk, yes? Okay, this part. 
what happened with this one? Okay, that's mean that you study this part for the test. Okay, esa es una de las partes que usted va a estudiar para el examen. Okay, this one. So you write an asterisk and you write study. Okay, that's mean you study for the evaluation. Es una de las cosas que va a estudiar para su examen. Okay, the different abbreviations. Sept, September, okay, Feb, February, Oct. October, MR, Mr., MRS, Mrs., Rev, Reverend, Mon, Monday, Sun, Sunday, Sat, Saturday, DR, Doctor, Jan, January, okay, Tuesday, Tuesday, okay, and Deck. December, but remember, every abbreviation has a period at the end. Okay, todas las abreviaturas tienen un punto al final. Yeah. Okay, you did it this part? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, let me check if you finish. Okay, no. Okay, so I give you more minutes. Okay, no se preocupe, le voy a dar el tiempo restante para que usted termine de completar esto. Yes. Okay, that's good. Yes, because we have enough space for completing this part. Okay, excellent. And if you check, not all the states, okay, have letters. Yes, not todos los estados tienen letras. Some of them. Okay, that's good. So if you finish this part, yes, you can close your book. Okay, but I, uh, let me see, stay in that four because uh, some of your classmates don't finish. Yes, algunos de sus compañeros no han terminado. Entonces por eso le he dejado así. Ah, Christopher, you are, okay, you wear El Salvador t-shirt, yeah? Está diciendo la camisa del Salvador. Yeah, because today play, exactly. We have a game today, yeah? Exactly, okay, in that moment. <laughs> okay, that's good. Yes, I started to watch the game, but I don't finish, yeah? Mm -hmm. Sí, comencé a verlo, pero no lo terminé. <laughs> ok, excelente. <laughs> yes, ok, we love El Salvador, ya. Yeah? Ok, that's good. Ok, Mateo Salmerón, you finish? Yes. Ok, excelente. Okay, that's good. And remember, in part B, you only complete the abbreviation, yes? And you know that this one are the month of the year and some, uh, let me check, some titles, yes, of respect. Doctor, Mr., Mrs., okay, Reverend. Exactly. Okay, that's good. Okay, don't forget to send your evidences. No se le olvide enviar evidencias, okay? Tiene que enviarme evidencias de estas páginas. Today we work on pages 47 and 48. Trabajamos página 47 y 48, okay? Exactly. Okay, excellent. Okay, that's good. Okay, Christopher, tell me. Yes, eh, vamos a hacer eh, lo de la página 48, pero el, el ejercicio B. 
Sí, lo va a completar con esas palabras que usted tiene acá, ¿ok? Ahí, okay. Le, va, uh -huh, ahí le da varias claves para que lo pueda completar. Ok. 